In lieu of a launch and visits to bookshops and libraries, I thought I'd do what everyone else is doing and work from home. So here I am with my book and the dictionary that inspired it. This is the first volume of the first edition of the Oxford English Dictionary. It was published in 1888 and it is proof that at least one word was lost from the dictionary. That word is bondmaid. It should have appeared between bondly and bondman, but it didn't and no one knows why. In the Dictionary of Lost Words, bondmaid is the word that leads my character Esme to start collecting other words, words that have been overlooked, neglected or rejected for inclusion in the Oxford English Dictionary. The words she collects are women's words and words used by people with little use for a heavy leather bound dictionary like this. I love this dictionary. I love it for what it records and for what it leaves out. There are stories in the white space between the definitions and I have tried to tell just one. I'm told it's a great lockdown read and I know your local bookshop is ready to get a copy into your hands one way or another. So go in, get online or give them a call. And remember, reading is a tried and tested social distancing activity and it has the power to distract you, transport you and inspire you during these strange and isolating times. So don't just buy one book, buy two or maybe three. There are so many wonderful books being published right now and they need readers more than ever. I hope you enjoy the Dictionary of Lost Words.